Alrighty, well, morning, everybody, and, um, it's cast time once again. Um, I'll explain more why I'm doing this on a night I'm supposed to work, but, um, I will go ahead and once again preface this by saying that this is, like has been going on, this is going to be a fairly, uh, fairly involving, uh, there's going to be a bunch of moving parts in this one, so don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there. Um, maybe if I remember to, I might talk more about about the process of making these um maybe maybe we'll we'll see as the cast goes on but it seems i'm evolving for lack of a better word so um but yeah um no music this time uh, i don't i don't really have a whole lot to talk about so i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna go with uh snow drive saint paul St. Paul, Minnesota, downtown. Um, this is in the middle of a snowstorm. Um, so, and chances are I might be talk my uh, commentary part of this video. I might be talking more about this. So, but we'll see. Um, but start with, just to put it out there, um, I might be getting a little bit gross and disturbing this part here. Just to give people advance warning. Uh, but anyway, um, start with, uh, as is obvious, I called in sick from work last night. Um, I just, I laid down, laid down yesterday morning, just, and I think maybe about an hour in, it just, heartburn kicked in, like, big time. Um, not as, not as much as a few weeks ago, whereas I made the mistake of coming home from work or I bought a, I bought a big six inch turkey and cheddar sandwich. Like it was a pretty big one. So got home from work, chowed down it, chowed down on it, and then laid down. Like right, like almost immediately after. Yeah, monstrous heartburn. So yeah, it, it just, both times I felt like I was being strangulated. Just, or you know, I ended up getting off. End up being, you know, forcibly awakened and all that, and you know, you know, standard heartburn, heartburn symptoms. So just tossed and turned for a while, try to get that up. Finally, I managed to, I managed to pop an antacid. Um, I take famotidine. It just, I've been taking it for years. I'm guessing not a, I'm not taking enough or something. But again. The, the aforementioned the aforementioned incident a few weeks ago um, that was my own fault you know ate a big old sandwich before laying down bad call and plus I think when I'm um, putting this cast together um, at my age 50 years old um, heartburn's gonna be uh, more and more of a serious issue so but I mean for the longest time I mean just one or two a day, and you know, I don't have a heartburn problem. And then um, on top of that, um, doing even more research. I'm doing even more research trying to get this cast together. Um, there's like a one of the articles, like 11 foods that help combat heartburn. I think I'm taking at least half of them. Half of the recommendations: uh, oatmeal, whole wheat bread, uh, bananas. think there was something else in there I can't remember what but yeah I'm on that uh, on that list I'm probably I'm already eating about half of that and I think we're a little bit on the loud side with this turn that down a bit so <sighs> Did he just fart? Oh, it's some windshield wipers. Okay. I thought he just cut a big one in his car. Just... So... Or... Or hell, maybe, um... Okay, that didn't work right. 
Anyway, but hell, maybe I should um, maybe I should start taking some Pepto Bismol then. I mean, plus um, I think Pepto Bismol is actually cheaper than the uh, Bamatidine tablets that I was taking. So, but anyway, eventually I ended up having to pop an pop, popped another antacid. Um, at some point, the 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 digestive ship got righted and I ended up sleep able to fall asleep but I mean by that time I think I'm I want to say maybe three hours three hours of sleep um it was one of those situations where it really wasn't point wasn't any point in me laying back down trying to get that extra hour hour and a half so I just went ahead and got up and just put just did an early pinball stream and um mm -hmm. As, as you probably would have expected, it it was okay. Um, FX3 went all right. Uh, Pinball Arcade went pretty shitty, but yeah, it, that's that's how it's been going on these days. Uh, Zachariah, um, like FX3, it went okay. So. Oh, sounds like he's farting. <laughs> it's actually the windshield wipers doing that, but still. It's like, damn, that sounds like this guy's been down on some serious burritos. Not the kind you buy in a store, but the kind you get from your Mexican neighbor. I never, never thought I'd say this, but I almost miss these kind of winners. I mean, I don't, I sure as hell don't enjoy enjoy driving in them. You know, let's, let's let's you know, let's get let's get that let's get that cleared up. I mean, no, no, driving in this stuff is a bitch. I mean, I'd want nothing to do with that. But you know, just just a good old you know a good old white Christmas. You know, nice and snowy. And I think the um. On the thumbnail of this, it's supposed to have been a four and a, this is a, a four and a half inch snowstorm. So yeah, but hey, in the in the day was in the days of global warming or climate change, yeah, you're not gonna see much of this anymore. pretty surprising that uh I think this video came out like a few months ago oh and um I guess I didn't mention yeah it's in um St. Paul Minnesota Oh, and I, and um, I forgot too. One thing, um, one thing I did forget to mention, um, recently, like on my nights off, I've been uh, eating uh, eating red grapes. So, chances are eating that might be uh, contributing to my uh, to the aforementioned heartburn problem that I had this morning. So, so yeah, no longer those. Um, but otherwise, um, I'll count, I've lost my train of thought, hold on. Oh, never mind. But anyway, I did, however, I managed to get in a, a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I just, just, uh, I did a, I did a five-on-five five matchup. This time... With my monk class, um, monk. For those that don't know, they're they're the bare-fisted fighters. They're kind of like um, kind of like MMA fighters. Now for um, now for PVE content, they're um, 
they deal damage based on where they're positioned like on the target like are they they deal extra damage when attacking a target's rear or their flank depending on which attack you're using depending on which attack you're using so but uh, in pvp though it all gets streamlined like there's no positional requirements so but yeah i did a did a five on five um as has been going on i suck i mean i haven't I haven't done PvP consistently in Final Fantasy XIV in, like, God knows how long. So. And, um, and then I kind of moved up in the ranks on there. Um, originally I was rank 1, but I'm now rank 2. So, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Oh, that's the uh, XL Energy Center. Okay, I think the um, I think that's where the Minnesota Timberwolves play. Put that on pause. Bobcat Lodge. Oh damn! I guess uh, I guess the Minnesota Wild play there too. Okay. I thought they played it uh. I thought they played a target field or target center or whatever. Goes to show what little I know about sports in my home state. I mean, I mean they they ain't got they ain't, they ain't got shit for rugby around these parts. I mean that's that's my favorite sport. All the uh, the basic four traditional sports I don't really pay attention to them anymore. Which, speaking of that, um, I need to do something real quick. Alright, what was it called? Yeah, there it is. Um, it ain't showing here let me scroll down here a little bit uh. Okay, never mind. That would be too long and involving a process. So I'll just, yeah, I, I'll just go ahead and talk it out. Um, but I watched uh, I watched Scotland versus France in women's rugby. I uh, watched a little bit of that, but uh, it got to where um, uh, it got to where France was uh, I think they were up twenty-one to nothing or something like that. So. And this wasn't, the game wasn't even halfway done. So I just went ahead, just, just went ahead and called it good on that one. That's going to be a foregone conclusion at that point. Uh-oh. It's a big old church. Yeah, like I like I said, I I kind of I kind of miss the white white winners, but uh, I I don't miss driving in them. So yeah, cause we didn't we didn't get any of this stuff back in my neck of the woods. I think all we got was maybe a little a little dusting of snow and a little bit of rain, a little bit of freezing rain and all that, and that's it.
armor bank. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so... Turn that up a bit. Okay, so... Yeah, um, so that'll do her. Uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be working, um, Thursday and Friday. So, so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye now.